stage. We're live. <laughs> Me just panicking in the corner. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Are we live? We're not live. I have the. It says mine says live. I have the. Remember, there's always like a delay. Oh yeah. Hmm. Because I have the video up on my iPad and it's not. Hmm. Maybe it'll take like it's a little bit. Oh, there we go. We're live. <laughs> good, good, good. Yay. Okay. okay. Wonderful. So we know one of the people is me watching. <laughs> That's good. So I found munching in your ear. You can't hear it at all. Okay. Yeah, really can't, <laughs> which is interesting. Oh, look, I just got to notice that you're alive. <laughs> we'll close that. Oh, okay. <laughs> just going to go tweet out a million things. I'll post them. Uh, yeah. I'm doing my Twitter app. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I think I texted you the other day because I was like, I had seen that you had deleted it. So I was like, I wonder if she's going to see that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that right now. Oh, like, God. I How are we going to get it once a day on my laptop? So Yeah, I don't blame you. I um I deleted Facebook like a while ago. Twitter um, is wild. Twitter for me, I just, I just have, like don't look. If something bothers me, I just stop following them. So yeah. I don't well, know. I mean, They're just like. I've just been having a really rough couple yeah. of weeks. And yeah. like, rather than like, I don't know, Twitter was kind of like, mm -hmm. it's like a way for me to like, like I could be reading and like being happy about doing yeah. something, you know, it's, whereas yeah. like I get sucked into Twitter and like Twitter doesn't like make me happy. It's just like, yeah, no, I totally makes get me that. Sad because there's always mm -hmm. someone complaining about something. Oh, yeah. There's a world what of things. Sarah to think about. Destin thing. Someone's Sarah Destin. What? Oh, I like, saw yeah. that. And I'm like, I was. I remember like reading it for the first time and being like, oh, that kind of sucks. Like people really crap on YA all the time. And then, and then I was like, I don't know. Oh, but was... people are jumping up before mm -hmm. they know the whole story, and yep. this happens yep. all the time on social media. Yeah. And then it now does. people are calling Sarah Destin a racist, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my god, Wait, what? <laughs> this is too much. Yeah, I saw that. Because her book. Like whatever the person, the quote that she pulled from that article was called like basically saying like, um, like YA sucks. Like we shouldn't be studying YA in university, mm -hmm. in a university level course. But then like the whole article basically says that instead of choosing a Sarah Dessen book, it was like a super forward, like um, diverse read. It was written with an own voices, black woman. And it was just like, and then everyone was like, well, Sarah Destin was complaining that her book wasn't chosen and she's a white woman. And I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, this is going yeah. so far. I, Yeah, I think both sides went too far. That's the yeah. conclusion. I don't know. Yeah. I think people go too far too fast. Yeah, exactly. They they don't put the brakes on. They don't stop and think about it. They just like full force ahead and then they regret it 10 minutes later. So, oh, yeah, you gotta, I feel like. like Stop, that's what tweet everything. Yeah. Stop drop and roll, people. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> like, if you're going to complain about something, <laughs> wait a day. Always sit on your issues and wait a day. <laughs> like, I mean, how many times, not even just book, but like even like famous people, politicians, whoever, like tweet something and then have to apologize for it like two days later. Yeah. Like many times. Like, oh, yeah. It, I don't know. That's like Twitter's thing. People just tweet Ooh, when they should not. Difficulties. Are we? Yeah. Are you guys also stalling? No. Oh, you like mm -hmm. both of you guys would free are freezing on mine. I don't know why. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on, I'm turn this light off. Um. Okay. We should probably when Ashley gets back introduce the book and everything. Um. Let's see. Sorry, um, that light was driving me crazy. It was like okay. making my head glow. <laughs> Hopefully, everybody's here that wants to be here. Hello, five people watching. <laughs> um, Hello. 
I, love I do feel book. like this is kind of one of those books that's like I feel like not many people like have read yeah. slash know about. Yeah. But I'm so yeah. excited. as soon as we pick um, our next book, I have seen it everywhere on like books oh, yeah. people are reading it. So I'm like, oh, yeah. oh it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My um my best friend read Well Met like a few months ago and um she loved it. So Whoa. I have a pile of books around me. So like, mm. yeah. Okay. Do we want to do our um, highs and lows and then what we're currently reading? Sure. Yeah. That'd be good. Anybody want to start? <laughs> I can start. Uh, okay. Go, go for ahead. It, Jen. Um, highs of the month. Uh, doing NaNoWriMo, which is super exciting. Ooh, I know you've been making a lot of progress, huh? Yeah, I haven't That's written awesome. today yet because I'm just not in a writing mood. Today and yesterday, I just wasn't. So we'll have to see mm -hmm. after the live show if I can like find some live write-ins because I know Kate Cavanaugh did a live write-in earlier today that I missed. So I should just look back at it <laughs> and yeah. and um, write to that because they always seem to make me more productive. But yeah, I'm at 30,000 words and I have less than 20K left to go to hit the 50K. That's awesome. Woo! Woo <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah. Um, Lowe's, I don't know. My mental health has been awful recently because, like, that's just a thing. Um, there's nothing really else going on. What am I currently yeah. reading? As always, I'm reading a million gajillion things. Where do all my books go? <laughs> Because, like, that's just my brand, apparently. So, like, okay. I'm getting really close. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, Kurt, I've been, like, because of my not great mental health, I have been reading, rereading stuff. So, I'm rereading Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I am Ooh. almost done because, like, yesterday I just got, like, a really good chunk done. And I'm <laughs> loving this. I love this book so much. Oh, well, obviously, as I am wearing Hufflepuff sweater. And then I also have Lord of, Lord, oh God, Lord of the Rings, uh, The Fellowship, which I have read last year, actually, at this time. And I'm only a few chapters in, but I'm enjoying it. So, mm. that's fun. And I also have Ninth House and... Ooh. Lethal White that I had started and just like haven't picked up in a while, but they're still there. <laughs> is that a fantasy book? Wait, is it, what's Lethal White about? Oh, this is one of J.K. Rowling's crime books. Oh, is it? Whoa. Yeah, I couldn't still, read like, the author. Oh, it, cool. it says Robert Galbraith. Because yeah, I knew oh. her. Yeah, I knew her other yeah. series, but oh, that's cool. Very yeah. cool. I love her crime books so much. It's ridiculous. Really? Yeah. yeah, I've heard really mixed things about like is it she wrote is it the cuckoo's calling? Is that one of the other ones? That's the first I one. I heard yeah. kind of mixed things. Um so I'm glad yeah. to hear you like them. Actually, they got they get better with every book. Okay. Which is Good. like the best thing you can ever ask yeah. for. Because usually yeah. it's downhill right away. Um but no, oh. they get better. I really enjoy them. Um yeah. <clears throat> Wait, Book Diva just finished the Harry Potter series for the first time. That's amazing. That's awesome. How did yeah. you like it? Because, <laughs> like, it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, have that's you, what I'm um, up to. Tasha, have you, um, have you been sorted into your house? Because if not, you need to be sorted <laughs> to yeah. your house. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can do it on Pottermore. So okay. if you haven't. They loved them. Oh yay! Them. Yay! <laughs> was this like, was this like your first time just diving into the Harry Potter series as a whole? Like, have you never watched the movies? Because you oh, are she's a like rare the bird. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the odd one out. I'm <laughs> Miss Hufflepuff. It's fine. Uh, I used to Brie be a Ravenclaw. Says hi, so. by the way. Mm -hmm. Bree also says hi. Hi, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What are you guys up to reading and all that? Do you want me to go? Um, sure, go ahead. Okay, so, um, okay, hi. Um, well, at the start of the month, like the first weekend in November, we, I went on a little, just like a weekend vacation where I met my family up in, um, for a little like mountain weekend. Um, 
my parents, they like, we, they like rent like a cabin thing up in a couple hours north of me. It's just really pretty and it's like fall leaves everywhere. It was gorgeous. So I had a good time. It was just nice to kind of like chill for a while, like not do anything social media, like kind of just relax. So that was really fun. Um, low, I mean, nothing's bad, bad or anything. It mostly just work's been a little <laughs> stressful. Um, I'm kind of like, I'm staying at my job, but I'm transitioning from two schools to one school, which is great. And it's good news. It's kind of in the end, it will be good, but it's mm-hmm. a little stressful in the, <laughs> the middle. I had to like, you know, tell the kiddos that I was leaving and I just mm. felt kind of really guilty, oh. <laughs> but it was like, I think sometimes things happen at like bad times, but it's like a good thing if that makes sense at all. So mm. anyways, that was kind of like, it's almost over, but it's just been a little stressful. But um, so reading wise, I'm reading um, His Royal Highness, the new one by R.S. Gray. Ooh, that would like, good. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only like, mm, I don't know, like 10, 15% in because I fell asleep last night, <laughs> but <laughs> Um, and then I'm about to start Dr. Strangebeard by Penny Reed, which is book five in the Winston Brothers series. So I'm very good. excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, my okay. gosh. Okay. The girls would love I it. I think like, we've talked about it before. Yeah. I, I'm obsessed. It's hilarious. It takes place in, like, um, Tennessee and, like, this little town. But these it's a group of – it's, like, a brothers and one sister, and they are hilarious. Like <laughs> – See if your hoopla has it on um, audio, because like I know my hoopla has the first like four on audio, and they're so funny because the guys will have like a thick southern accent. If that drives you crazy, don't listen on audio because I like it, but I live in the south, so. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) but yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Um, a high for me. Um, (laughs) Being here with no, it's been a very like a meh kind of month, if that makes sense. (laughs) Um, The only thing I think of is I've been doing pretty great in school. So that's good. Yeah, I got, (laughs) I have, there's just the biology class that I despise because of the professor. Um, (sighs) I have a 100 in the class. It's so freaking easy. So (laughs) amazing. Yeah, but um lows um my mental health has been really crappy because like things just kept piling and piling on that's why I ended up like deleting twitter and just being like I need to put more happiness into my life (laughs) you know um because uh I think Halloween night I realized I had an eye infection I had a paper cut on my lower water line Oh my god! Spent the whole Halloween night in the eye doctor's office, Um, and Cress passed away. (laughs) Yeah, Um, I still haven't cleaned out her cage. It's just sitting up on top of my bookshelf. That's Um, really tough. You gotta know, Cress is my hamster. People out there, Um, she helped me. I I bought her because. I think yeah, sophomore year of college, I wasn't allowed to like. Well, I could. It was like a pet friendly place, but my roommate was like allergic to cats and dogs. So I just bought a hamster to like help me not be lonely because yeah. I've always had a pet no matter what. Like my cat when I was born would like jump in the crib and sleep with me. Like Aww. I've always had a pet That's all the so time. Cute. So. Yeah. It was really sad. It's okay now. But yeah. yeah. We're good. <laughs> I know how you feel. Yeah, losing any pet is heartbreaking because they're just part of the family, you know. Yeah. So we feel ya. It's been a year. It was over a year, so like they live to one to two years. Hmm. I didn't realize that. I've never had yeah, a they hamster. Live, they have such a short life. I had a hamster back when That's I was bad. like eleven, and I hmm. bought him, and he was already like somebody's pet for a while. So like I only hmm. had him for six months. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Anyway, I'm currently reading. Well, I finished <laughs> Trick today, so I don't have my because I read three things at a time. I usually read a physical, an audio, and then an ebook. Yeah, um, I finished my ebook today, and I haven't picked anything up yet. Um, but I meant to start like participate in Tome Topple, but like that's not oh, going to happen. Mm. I there's I so many read a thons that I wanted yeah. to do right now, and I'm, I'm not like, even. No. So I'm not I even started, gonna try. I started this one, 
Ooh. <laughs> How are um, you enjoying it? Jacket. I'm only on like page like 40 maybe. Okay. Um, but I, cause I've read, I've been reading trick for the past three days. So like, I don't mm-hmm. honestly remember what happened so far. I have to like jump back into it, but so far, yeah. like chapter one of him, like saving the prince or whatever, uh, the yeah. fa- Royal family from witches. Yeah. Um, cause that's I what I was being really right. confused at the beginning of that book. It just being like, what's yeah. happening? <laughs> I had to read, yeah. reread stuff a few times, but it was so good by the end of it. I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, and then, <laughs> oh, what was no, I was gonna say, I was really disappointed in myself because I got that book from the library and didn't finish it before oh. it was due because you know when you just pick up like 12 other things before that one so mm-hmm. yeah. my current listen the... is the shadows she the probably shadows. Will. Come here, <laughs> this one's really Not cool because the letters are like iridescent Come here. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell oh, yeah. I'm pretty um, this is book number 13 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood wow I yeah, love my <gasps> Hi! Oh, he's, he's so cute! cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so cute! He is adorable. Or she. Look at the camera. <laughs> Hi, Bella. <laughs> She's going to join us. Aww, she's adorable. <laughs> um, I have around three hours left of this. And it is the first, book number 13, and it is the first book that has made me cry in this series. This made you cry? Why? A death. Oh, okay. Death. Yeah, no, yeah. Was... <laughs> okay. Me, yeah. Okay, so um, Tasha and I, Book Diva and I, um, we just finished uh, Zadis' book a couple oh. of days ago, or like last week. And it was so good. That was but, so freaking good. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we both really liked it. That's like top three favorite in the series for me. I don't know. I'm determined to like continue with it though and not put it down for another year. <laughs> well they so. have them all do you have do you have Audible? Uh-huh. They have them all the escape. The, yeah they have the all, all of the first like maybe like five, six are on the Audible escape. Okay. Then I'll definitely get through those. It's just after that I may take a little break. <laughs> yeah. I, I Audible, find mine through my library. With mm. Audible, do you guys get like okay, fine, leave me. That's fine. Um, <laughs> do you guys actually get the romance package? Is that a thing? Like if you, you, just, you like you Audible, Audible, you get Audible, and then like you add on the romance. Yeah, escape. Package. Like you have to romance, add a little yeah. bit more a month. Oh, okay. Because like mm. I honestly find Audible kind of a rip because you get one book a month. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't do um, Audible. I just do the romance package because yeah. you get oh, unlimited. You just do the romance. Mm-hmm. wild i have i have yeah. so okay yeah i canceled audible for the same reason i'm like i need too many audiobooks this mm-hmm. is not gonna work for me yeah. um it's like i read an audiobook in a day <laughs> what are you talking about i get one a month uh, i know i might I cancel know. the audibles i haven't used like a credit in a long time you know Ooh, you must have so many stocked i maybe have like three credits because I remember, I remember I did use one of the credits on a Black Dagger Brotherhood book, I think, like, last month, because it was t- it took, like, six, it was six weeks wait for the next book in the series. And I was like, no, I'm getting Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I, I listen to a book every single day for over two hours because of commuting. So, like, I finished, mm-hmm. like, three okay, audio okay. books a week. Yeah. I'm like really like I can't drag them out. Like if I listen to it for three days, I'm like, I need to finish this because I'm just that yeah. kind of person. Like once oh, I get God. like three quarters of the way through, I'm like, I need to just finish it. I'll mm-hmm. just put yeah. it on. But I did that I with it and it took me so long because <laughs> it like it's um audiobook is like forty four hours long. Oh my so God. Oh, it's, it's, it's eleven over eleven hundred pages, right? <laughs> And I was, like, listening to it on 1.5 speed because the narrator talked fast enough that I couldn't do 2.0 speed. So I just kept listening to it at work. And I was just like, wow, this is taking me forever to get through. But it was so so good. Oh, my God. (laughs) So good. I can't do horror. It wasn't Mm. scary at all. And I can't. I'm the most scaredy cat of life. It was so good. (laughs) So good. Interesting. Anyways. If nobody knows what book is what we read this month, it is <laughs> Italian Jaster by 
or it's, oh my god, oh. trick <laughs> by Natalia Jester. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good talk. Good I talk. do really like the cover though. I thought it was yeah. pretty. The cover is great. Yeah. I would I pictured them as though, to be honest with you. It's not. Not at all. I don't all. know. I feel like because I, I saw the cover. The that, yeah, I don't know, Briar, then I was like, Briar, I feel like that was what Briar looked like. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like that didn't really look like poet to me. Like, no. Mm -hmm. The way that they the way that she described poet was that I thought originally his diamond went the whole way down his face and was mm -hmm. his eye. Because of the way that she described oh. it first. I was like, he has a diamond for an eye? What? <laughs> and then I was like, no, wait, he's a jester. It's just paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I have to say, though, I do like the covers, though. Because um, yeah, the really original pretty. one was just like a basic, like, just like the word trick in like a font. So, I mean, definitely an upgrade, you yeah. know, from the other one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yes, we want to do a non-spoiler section a little bit in the beginning. Um, if y'all didn't know, this is like a fantasy, I want to say a new adult romance. I don't think it's an adult necessarily. Like, they're like 19, you're 18, 19 years old. And mm -hmm. like, it's adult, like there's steamy scenes. There's like, there's like steamy scenes in it. It's like, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's, young adult but i wouldn't say it's like an adult fantasy book you know no it's not no it's a romance yeah. book in a fantasy setting yeah because it's it's what it ugh, this mirroring thing is going to drive me crazy um, <laughs> this <laughs> it's set in like a royal medieval setting that's mm -hmm. what i got right like yeah, yeah that's what i got type yep era yeah it reminded me a little bit, it, like the setting reminded me kind of of like the selection a little bit, like the yeah, castle. Me too. You know? Yeah. Um, I think I agree. It's I I liked it, but I also kind of knew going in it wasn't gonna be like super fantasy, like as far mm -hmm. as like the world wasn't gonna be. Um like, Yeah, I didn't expect I didn't, it to be fantasy. No, and so I think if you go in thinking it's gonna be like a really high fantasy or like fantasy really at all other than just like in that world I think you might be disappointed but if you go in thinking it's going to be just a romance with um a kind of like fantastical maybe elements to it mm -hmm. um I think I, yeah. I enjoyed it yeah. yeah and I thought the characters were really well done to me um, I liked them yeah let's go let's uh without spoiling anything what <laughs> elements did you guys really enjoy and what elements did you not enjoy of this Vague. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. I, I, what I did not enjoy, um, the writing was very hard for me to get into. Yeah. Um, I started this book like two weeks ago and I finished it today, which I finished a book in about less than four days. Like I can't read Especially a book. Especially a woman. Especially yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because um, go through them. Like, there's a time on my Kindle app, and it's like, oh, you'll be done this in six hours. I'm like, great. And it took me two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did like, um, oh, so <laughs> the writing was really hard for me to get into because it was just so, so, so flower, like real flowery. Like, 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 I really love whimsical writing, you know, mm -hmm. like when an author is really whimsical and how they write, but like at points I was like, this is a little bit over the top for me at points. Um, mm -hmm. I also found like, like sometimes it was just, sometimes it was just difficult for me to understand at times. I had to reread parts to be like, oh yeah. wait, what what did what did that actually mean? Or what did, what, yeah. There's a um, section in the book that I'm not gonna like, it's like, so when, uh, uh, no spoilers, but there's a section that I read it and I was like, wait, this is moving so fast. And then like the next page, it was just, I didn't understand if it was just in Poet's head or if it actually happened. But then like the rest yeah. of the book, I was like, oh, it didn't happen because they never actually did. What? I was so confused. There was a few <laughs> parts like that, but there was one scene I was like, wait. <laughs> so yeah, no, I also have a bone to pick with the writing. Yeah. As I've um, said many times. But that's just because I, yeah, continue on. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I really loved a certain character that I cannot say because that would be a spoiler. And I'm excited. Like, I was happy that I, like, like that's not in the summary. The certain character is not in the yeah. summary. Yeah. Like, I love that surprising element. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 
I really loved yep. the character. I yep. really loved how like we got like like Jen said like there's a bunch of disability rep in this book. Mm -hmm. I love I've never actually read a book with like this specific disability rep before. So I really yep. loved mm -hmm. that. The only yep. way that I would think to like continue on with the series because I'm really skeptical. I don't think I might, but the only way that I would maybe think about it, maybe doing it, um, is to getting more into that world and maybe like figuring out if the world gets better with this uh disability. Um, yep. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um and uh yeah <laughs> I don't know my rating. See like I'm not gonna give it five stars. No, absolutely um, not. This is not a five star book. Um, no, for me personally, it's not a five star book. Yeah, um, I don't know if it would be a four, just because I didn't get invested into this book until maybe like sixty percent. When you know, like um, when so Briar like goes to his cottage, that's three point seven mm -hmm. five maybe is my rating. Yeah, that's my rating too because I I put four stars in Goodreads because they need to do a half star person. Like they need they, to get yeah, better. they do. Oh my god. But, Get on um, a good read. <laughs> we need to. We need to make a petition. Uh, They've been yeah, asking for years, point, though. Three point five, three point seven five, because the writing really bothered me. Specifically, like that's one of the elements that really bothered me because, to me, it was a mix of modern and like old timey Renaissance talk, and I was like, this does not fit together. Like you either yeah, pick one and stick to it. Mm -hmm. You don't cross back and forth. And no, it bothered me so much because every time it happened, it brought me out of the story. That's why I was like the first 30 to 60 percent, like the first about 30 percent of the book. It took me so long to read. And then I just like forced myself through it because I was like, I can't do this. This writing is awful. It just keeps bouncing out. But then it got better. Like the writing stopped doing that after a while. I think she found her like flow at some point. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, but one of the elements I really liked was that it wasn't just about the romance. You had, like, the politics come in a bit, which mm -hmm. I also didn't care about <laughs> for a while. But then I was like, by the end of it, I was like, oh, I actually care about this. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. <clears throat> what about you, Ashley? Um. So, I we've discussed before how Ashley needs to stop reading books the minute she finishes reading it. I do um, that too, it's fine. Because... <laughs> I was looking back at it and I'm like, I think I gave it a four. I gave it a five. I, I saw you I give agree. it a five. And like, I was like, in the month, I was like, oh God. I was like, because <laughs> when you girls were talking, I'm like, what did I give it? And I'm like, uh. but I, I still do think I probably enjoyed it like the most out of all of us. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think I'd probably give it like a 4.5, 4, 4.5. But I think what I did, I don't know if you girls listened to it on audio. No, but I, I think maybe, audio. yeah, I think maybe that's the difference for me because mm. I had a really hard time getting into the beginning of it. And mm -hmm. I swear, sometimes the audio, I'll make it, it'll be like a four or five star, whereas if I read it, it's like a three star. I yeah. don't, it's like the, if the narrator is good, if like, it's almost like you're just like watching a, like listening to like a play or something. So, um, I looked for the audio because I was having a hard time with it. So the hoopla had it actually. And um, I really liked the audio. I thought the narrator did a really good job. Did they have um, only so one narrator for both? I am trying to remember. No, I believe it was two. I believe it was oh, a girl good, and a guy. Yeah. Yeah. I be believe it was a girl. And <laughs> I know it kind of. Some are really good though. You'd be so, the only one like the Black Dagger Brotherhood I know only has a guy read it, and it's pretty yeah. good. His, um, well, also, it's told in like third person. Third person, third person yeah. Fine. Even yeah. if it's so, omniscient and it switches, mm -hmm. it's okay if it's one person. But yeah, yeah. I've read yeah, one so, book. Yeah, I wait. I read one book that has had one narrator, and there's been a guy and a girl, and it's actually pretty great. It's called The Edge of Never. By J. Mm. Aaron Mursky. Oh, I love that book. She does. She book. does a pretty great job at having him. Anyway, but it's a, It's almost like they have to be like really talented, like mm -hmm. actors with their voice. But anyway, so I I enjoyed the writing. I think the most just because I listened to it too. Yeah. Um, which is odd though because I usually do not like flowery writing. Like anyone who I see like a review and it's like this had flowery writing. I'm like, nope. Um, <laughs> like. It, I don't know. Like, there's just a few authors I know write that way, and some people love it, and some people don't. I usually don't, mm -hmm. which is why I'm really surprised I like this. 
but I think it's because I listened to it. Um, Most definitely, yeah. Because I've, I know happened, you know a few romance books that I've read, or even just contemporary books that I've read. Um, yeah. I listen to them in like three hours because usually they're only like a six hour audio yep. book, and yeah. it just immerses you into the story. Yes, and you're just like, wow, yeah. this is just so incredible. And then like when you get yes. out of it, you're like five star. And then like a week later, you go actually, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. Take it with a grain of salt, but um, you know, I did appreciate that. I thought I thought it was a unique story. I will mm-hmm. say to me, like, especially like you said, the disability rap that um, without getting spoilers, like we'll go into. But um, I thought that was really unique. I hadn't really read much about that at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and so things I liked, I really liked that particular character, and I really liked. Um, I really liked Poet, actually, I will say, because I liked how you didn't, like, you didn't quite know what you were getting with him. True. Like, he I don't know. I kind of, master. yeah, I felt like it was kind of a good representation of that, like, I don't know, the jester, like, you know, peel back the layers, like, what mm-hmm. are you going to get? Um, and I felt like it onion. did keep you, yeah, exactly. A nice looking <laughs> onion. Um, <laughs> um, I didn't love Briar. Um no. I, she had a couple moments that I'm like, okay, okay. By, by the, the end? end of, yeah, by the end, I'm like, okay. Like, I, I see this, like, I see what you're doing here, but it's almost like I wanted, like, I don't know, somehow more. Like, a- even with the politics, like you said, it was interesting, yeah. but it's almost like it needed to be a bigger book to give, like, fleshed out more. Because I think I would have been more like, invested. If this was a real fantasy book and yeah, you like yeah. actually had more stuff happening and just the romance yeah. is like a b-plot yeah <clears throat> oh it'd be so yeah. good <laughs> yeah yeah so things i didn't like would be briar wasn't always my favorite especially in the beginning uh, i'm just like girl get it together <laughs> yeah and I but, um, blank piece of paper for like yeah, 80 yeah. percent of the book and then she got really good and i was like oh okay yeah, yeah, she has a personality yeah. under there okay Oh gosh, I'm ringing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it like rings on my computer. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else that we um, want to talk about before we get into nuns or spoilery? Uh, one thing that I want to say about the writing that really, I just real, I just remembered this. Um, like I didn't understand what, like, so basically in this book, the disability rep is like, um, kind of like a fantasy version I think of like people with like autism or down syndrome is what mm-hmm. I think of like I think yeah. it's down syndrome that they were trying yeah. to do um oh so like it's called like a what it's called starts with an s they're called simpletons or yep. whatever or and fools, fools. Um, yep. but at the beginning like I didn't know what they were talking about I was like why are they bring- what's this word like what is simple like I didn't understand oh. it wasn't until I've, I've watched so much game of thrones and yeah. like that kind of stuff that fools that's just another word for a fool oh. in a medieval See, I didn't, court I didn't realize yeah. that until, like, my favorite until character popped like, up. Oh. I yeah, didn't notice okay. that until my favorite character popped up. And I was like, oh, that's yeah. Here's some tea. Think, yeah. I Here's do kind of think tea. that it was, like, you kind of went in expecting people to have a little bit of, like, I don't know. Like, I kind of agree what you were saying but like i have like same thing <laughs> i have watched game of thrones but also like i felt like sometimes she was trying to use too like i, I liked the writing but she was using a lot of like i don't know like vague metaphors or symbolism yeah. like yeah. i get what was trying to be done but at the same time it was like you're working you're making the worker reader work for it <laughs> like mm-hmm. i don't know True. So, I, I, some people like that kind of thing. Some people don't. <laughs> so, I got I got to say without spoiling it though, the one character that we get that all of us just absolutely adore. I don't think the I don't think the author did a good job of really portraying him as disabled. Mm. I think because the kid I'm sorry, we're going deep into spoilers now. He's four! Yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever been around a four-year-old, but they act like that normally. That's so I, true. I, I, I also... Will, yeah. I'm explaining it a little bit more. But he just doesn't understand concepts. I'm like, well, kids usually don't, but I guess... I guess. But it wasn't yeah. like a super intense 
it's where you're like obviously okay but then like later in the book briar mentions his face yeah is, that's what i was about to say you can see on his face and i was like wait that wasn't mentioned before yeah or this was something mm-hmm. what so I guess we're talking anyways. spoilers now <laughs> <laughs> We're going into spoilers. Don't want to be spoiled now. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, I, I do. I totally get what you're saying. Like, I totally get. But the only thing is, I will say, from when I've like worked with kiddos who've had some kind of disability, sometimes it's not as apparent when they're younger because kids do like act like that. Is the only thing I kind of got. So, like, as they get older, like the gap gets bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not. It, I don't know. I I yeah. do agree with what you're saying, but like for me, that's yeah. how I thought about it. Like maybe later on, like when he was older, it would be a little more like because, like they said, they I didn't even so. realize it for like the first. You didn't realize year it until two. like two or whatever. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, if you didn't realize it, then is his facial deformity that not noticeable? But then like Briar, like <laughs> yeah, True. but then, like also like spoil like okay so we're yeah we're into spoilers. <laughs> um, like Nick you is that how you pronounce is that how you pronounce this? I'm like Nick you that's what I'm I just saying. went Niku. 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 Um, I think, yeah on the audio they said Niku. Niku okay Niku, Niku, I think. Niku. so like because when he gets like taken by the guards or whatever at the end like they're like oh they saw his face and like snatched him up you yeah. know mm-hmm. so, like it's true that must be pretty obvious then yeah. Which I did. That's what I was going to say, too. I was like, it wasn't until later half in the book when they were like, oh, he saw his face. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we didn't like get that part. <laughs> Defor- what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. And then I was like, when I first read that, I was like, wait, did they see Niku's eyes and go, those are poets' eyes? Because she <laughs> says he has poets' eyes, like with the clover. I was like, wait. <laughs> what? And then I was like, oh, no, he has a facial deformity. So it must have been, or well, not a facial deformity. He just has something going on with his face that makes people know that he's. A I think school. they said like they have like really big eyes, and I think it's something Down syndrome, else. right? Like because you can yeah. tell looking at a Down. A... Yes. Um, yeah, you can usually like, tell. They... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what the allegory was, right? I, yeah, I think that's what I, I got the yeah. I got the vibe that like she was kind of trying to go off of something in our like reality but maybe make it like slightly more like fantastical like not because obviously when you deal with something like that you don't you could get things wrong and things like that so I think to me she was trying to do something like slightly different so you know like when someone creates another country because they don't want to like make someone mad in that country yeah um I kind of got that vibe (laughs) you know what I mean like oh we're in Genovia because I don't want to like make speed mad (laughs) yeah (laughs) I think it was very um, convenient that there's that one part <laughs> where Poet says that he's tried to figure out what's wrong with his son to try fix his son. And then, like, they, he just never could figure out what was wrong. I'm like, that's convenient because this is medieval <laughs> times. And, like, they don't have names for this kind of stuff other than people. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Um. I don't yes. even remember what happened in the first third of the book, to be honest. <laughs> it was just a lot of like poet being creepy and following her around. Yeah. And her Elliot. Elliot? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Elliot he really bothered me. The shit out of me. Like Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he really like, bothered me. You can't like like uh it's probably just like a deep, a deep infatuation, but like he's telling her at the end, you love him and I love him and we can't. Like, we have to deal with this or whatever. Like, how are you in love with him? <laughs> He's just deeply obsessed with him. Yeah. Obsession. It's like yeah. Severus Snape from Harry Potter. It's an obsessive love versus real love. Okay? <laughs> like, That's a very good way of putting it. Yeah. Right? Like, I kind of agreed. Yeah. It wasn't. It really bothered me. <laughs> yeah. I just. It was mm-hmm. just a plot device. He was just a yeah. plot device. <laughs> You needed yeah. to give Briar somebody to show that she had a softer side. And I was like, oh, that's Elliot. Yeah. I didn't like how the author made at the end when Poe was ma- when both Elliot and Poe were mad at Briar to be like, we're going to kiss each other now. Oh, like, yeah. I got the oh, impression yeah. that they fucked. Did you? At first, I, I don't think I so. That's what because I thought. Because he's too. in his room. Really? 
And I'm like, I got the impression that Poet did it with Elliot because he was just so mad. And I was like, oh, God, you're ruining that's it with Briar. <laughs> so effed up, though. Like, oh, yeah. That, yeah. Well, that's now I feel. Yeah, I that's, thought, huh. They're teenagers. Let's then, be clear like, here. At like, the end, I thought Poet he did, is like, like 19. Yeah. I thought at the end, though, he said, he, like, someone told Briar, like, oh, I kissed him. Like, yeah, I they said think. kiss. Yeah. So unless so they're knew, lying. Yeah. But you know why I, when I, I get what you're saying. Right with the writing. Yeah. <laughs> when the scene came up with like them in his room, that's when my first initial thought was like, <gasps> yeah. 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 I thought like Elliot was like in bed half naked when Briar walked in and I was like, oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's gonna be <laughs> yeah uh i also feel like like since you like i think they should have been aged up i'm just saying like i i don't know like to me in my head i kept thinking of them as at least 22 23 and every time they kept saying an age i'm like what like especially when they said how old um poet was like when he had niku i'm like how old was he then i'm like doing the math in my head i'm like he was like 15 15 right 16, 15 or 16? Um, yeah. Because he's 19 like, now. Yeah. Like, so we I just. 15 and the girl was like 17. Somewhere yeah, up. she was a couple years older. But I just, I do wonder why she picked those ages. Like, I don't know. Because I. I think, because I they know. do so many questionable things in this book. Like, they have that really actually charming scene where, like, the group of people go out into the maze. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, like, that was, yeah. That was that don't cute. Actually care about. That was really and cute. Elliot, poet, and her. Yeah. And I'm like, I that's love... something that teenagers would do. And That's true. Like, yeah. They, I love the that questionable one. pettiness of mm-hmm. the characters. Like, that's, yeah. you know, that's why, I think. Because then, like, adults okay. I think we would be like, oh, like, let's think about this rationally. Yeah. Right, right. I love yeah. the, um, what is it, the Silly Seven? whatever mm-hmm. the of the two that want to be together i forget i know there was really so good diversity good. in this book it at least great. Yeah. Very true. from page one really good was yeah were, that you could be on the lgbtq spectrum i you like that women, you queens, could do whatever you wanted like winter queens they're like they're yeah. queens. i love it oh yeah i loved it that, I that, love that, 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 that was great that was great I, I also that. got so confused at which royalty was which because she never like clarified who the kings and queens were. Well, I know really? Reese. Reese was the summer king who was. What? I, I think they did say it. Basil and Fatima or whatever they were spring. What the two? I'm so confused. This uh, is so confusing. I. Ugh. Um, I don't I think know. There was a few winter but- ones. I want to say she only said it in, like, it was said, but I think it was in, like, a paragraph, and that was, like, the only time they said who was who. So if you, you know, yeah. maybe I just, you know what I mean? Book, I, I was going to say, because <laughs> I've done that before. Too. A lot of it went, like, rid of it, because I was just, yeah. like, skimming. I was just trying to get through the pages fast, because yeah. I was like, I don't care about these characters. That's what I happens want to be done. Like, And then Miku through. came in, and I was like, Miku! <laughs> <laughs> He's the you only know, one I, I care about. Oh. I loved at the end when he was just uh, the end with him like jumping in the leaves and it was really uh, really cute. He's made yeah. 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 <laughs> so cute. I love and I love the um the ribbons like how it carried oh. throughout. That was really yeah. cute. I like yeah. Honestly, I had that. I gotta say when poet first had the ribbons on his wrist at the very beginning before we even knew about Niku. I thought that it was covering self harm scars. Me too. Because he said something about how he hurts himself and he can't let anybody show it. And I was like, oh, is that's this what I thought. Self harm narrative? That's Dang. why when you came up, I was like, that was a huge surprise. <laughs> like, I, I feel not like, yeah. Because in, the, in, the yeah. in the summary, they were like, oh, poet's covering up a big secret or whatever. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's what I like. Him like he hurting said, himself. Like, he doesn't something. let her touch them, and I'm like, well, they must be covering something because he mentioned, like, it was a line that made him sound really masochistic, and I was like, okay, <laughs> all right, poet, <laughs> just like kept going. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I will say, I really liked how I really didn't see like the Niku thing coming. Mm-hmm. Like, I like that the, the summary on like the book was vague. Because a lot of times I think it they give away way too much. Oh, and um, 
they spoil things. So I don't know. I I don't remember thinking that, but I do remember thinking like, what is up with these ribbons? Like what is going on with them? And I, I had no idea about this kid until it came up and I was like, what? I loved so. um, Tumble the Ferret. <laughs> oh yeah. Although Quality the ferrets kind of creep me out. I'm not going to lie. I've had no, a pet ferret, so. Have you? No. Well, my sister See, did. So we've, we've had I one can. pet ferret. The it only thing is that a they bit at like, stink a lot. It was adorable in the book. Yeah. I just, in real life, like, if I see him in a pet store, I'm like, you can over there. You're real cute, though. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. Real talk. What's Poet's real name? <gasps> That's what I wanted to know. It starts know. with an F and an E. And I'm like, what kind of name could this be? What's his name? And I thought he was going to tell her at the end because he did yeah, tell her, but I he didn't, didn't tell the reader. And I was like, Pfft. yeah, that may, that, that. <laughs> I, know. I hate, I hate when books choose to do that mm-hmm. so goddamn much. I know when I read Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell back in high school, the end of the book ends on something like that. And I was like, what, mm-hmm. what did he say to her? I hate what? those things. It drives <laughs> me up the freaking wall. I hate that <laughs> Just, oh. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Mm. I'm yelling. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know. I agree. Um, I did like the um was it the epilogue or was it just the end of the book where they yeah, were like the epilogue was just one, two paragraphs of Okay. Like tricks saying like, oh I I thought about like him like Apparently, because in the beginning, it's like him, like saying, "Like I'm about to tell you the story of what happened." Oh, what right. Saw. And right, the right, blog right. is like, "Oh, this like as if he's talking to Bra." He's like, "Yes, okay. prior, I told you the story." And blah. I have okay. a huge gripe with this frame narrative that isn't actually a frame narrative, because at the the beginning, it makes it sound like poet is about to talk about something in like a jail cell, like he's like. He's like, I'm going to confess something to you. There's this one oh. person who, like, the only person I've ever loved. And I was like, oh, so this is, like, somebody in his past. And now he's, like, I don't know, dying or in a jail cell or something. Yeah. But then, like, at the end, he's literally just doing a show for Briar. I was like, He's a very dramatic person. <laughs> yeah. I hate the way he talks. I hate it. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. His I, narratives are stupid. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like the whole jest, the whole jester thing. Like obviously he's a jester. Like I get yeah. it, but I kind of thought they did overdo like his performances and like how that worked in with it a little much. Like I don't know. Like I think they could have still had that effect without like breaking into it every like so often. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think and I yeah. think that would have toned down some of that writing that I think you guys weren't liking too because that to me was most confusing when he was talking in rhymes during his things. Yeah. yeah. You know? I don't know. That's very like true. I, like I get it. Like I get he's a jester and that's like, you know, his thing. But I just felt like he could have done it once or twice and I would have been fine. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like um I'm kind of I'm kind of torn on whether I'm gonna read more in this series. Like I, yeah. I think I enjoyed it probably the most, but I still like probably eventually. And I think they are on audio, so maybe I'll listen to them on audio. But um, I would um, I would only I would think want to read McHugh's McHugh's book. Yeah, I'm kind of curious whether you have to read the rest of them or if that's you can what just I want to read. Yeah, if y'all didn't know, watching they there are three more books after this one. And I think so. One, yeah. Is like Miku, like grown up, and his love interest. Apparently, it's with a man. So mm-hmm, I saw that, which I'm kind of curious to see, though, because I don't know. I, I yeah, feel like I, you'd have to tread carefully with that one. I want just because I, of the disability. I, yeah, I'd want to read it because like I want to know how the disability yeah. would be handled. And yeah, I think uh huh. Because yeah. I've never read anything like that before. Me neither. Know? It'd be interesting though. Mm-hmm. Um, I know the author. Like I posted a picture on Instagram, and I know the author had commented that um poet and briar do show up in like the rest of them so um they're clearly still in the same i'm just curious too if they do build on the world at all like you said if they make it because if they kind of expand on it like i think it could be really good but also if they don't i may not you know what i mean like it's gotta be it's gotta go up not (laughs) like 
Um, like I know yeah. the third book um, is about a pair. It's like set in the autumn court. I because I was looking at the summaries mm-hmm. of the next ones today. Yeah. Um, the third book set in the autumn court, and one of them like steals from the <clears throat> crown of the autumn mm-hmm. court. Mm. Saucy. Yeah, the uh, the summaries sounded really good. Like I read them too, and they both like second and third sounded good to me. So I'm like, oh well, maybe I'll. Um, I just maybe saw I'll download them. Niku, the cover for Niku's, and I was like, damn, he gets some sexy beast as a love interest, dude. Even the illustration, like, <laughs> hot. <laughs> Niku's so cute. The guy's so You intense. go, Niku. <laughs> you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> clearly we like a good uh illustrated guy <laughs> dude i don't know why i've always been like growing like dude my biggest crush was prince eric from little mermaid like i true that loved i still oh, yeah. love oh, anime let's go on a side tangent about disney for a second i was gonna say <laughs> i, have disney I haven't done it yet is I it have, worth I'm it debating Seriously? because i just i'm like I have me so too many, i have spotify and i have um scribd as subscription services, okay. and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I have enough money for seven dollars, nine dollars a month. That well, that one's sexy. Niku. <laughs> How do we know that one's Nico though? I, I can't. Big eyes. Oh, okay. That's what oh, I yeah. thought of it as. See, I don't. I guess so. That's really yeah. It's whoever did the illustrations. I liked them. They got good. Um, but yes. Um, um, I I'm on the same page with you, Jen. I don't know because in the states I, it's six ninety nine, not nine ninety nine, but still. Eyes, no, his green eyes. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be why. Yeah. But like I don't like I I will eventually because it has all the Marvel movies and I'm really intrigued yeah. by like a lot of the shows that Disney is doing now, like the Lizzie McGuire reboot. Oh is yeah. Super interesting to me. <laughs> um, but I was gonna say, have you guys? Scene, the Frozen Two trailer. Yeah, how do you feel about it? Uh, I'm always very <laughs> concerned when um, really popular Disney movies come out with a sequel. Same. Um, yeah. The only ones that I think have worked out are the Lion King ones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Lion King one yeah. and a half, legendary. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was a half, that's why it worked. <laughs> well, I, also loved, I also loved the number two because that was no, they Kiara were, they were and Kovu. Kiara mm, and Kovu, yes. they were lions, and they were my OTP. <laughs> oh my I, god! I don't know. I'm equal parts like trepidation and um, excitement because it's been so long. True, um, but it you know oh. I, I'll definitely see it. I probably won't go to the theaters to see it. If I'm being honest, just because there's so many other things out at Christmas or like around true, Christmas. True. But I'll probably you know get it when it comes out. But yeah. I am excited, and um, I don't know the song. The music sounds good. Yeah, um, I'm so I was excited. a big fan. I like I loved Frozen One. It is one of my favorite Disney movies, and that's. It's saying something because like my my favorite Disney movies are Lion King and Peter Pan like they just always have been. Yeah. Um, but I was kind of nervous because as like most Disney sequels aren't the best, mm-hmm. <laughs> they're just done to get more money. Yeah. But yeah. I saw an interview with Kate. Uh... Kristen Bell. Thank you. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I was gonna say Caitlin. I'm like, that's not her name. I can see your mind oh. working. <laughs> oh, my God. Kristen Bell. I believe she was on Jimmy. Fallon or Jimmy, the other one, Kimmo, one of the two Jimmys, and she was talking about it. She was talking about Kristoff in this movie, and saying like some of the lines that he has, and he's just, he's been, he's my favorite Disney prince, just like I love across the board. just across the board, he's amazing. But apparently, he like he's just so like one of the lines is something around the lines of like he's there with. Anna in like a really big intense part and he's like I'm here what do you need and I fucking lost my mind I was like oh my god Aww. this is the kind of love interest we need Aww. he's a 21st century prince and apparently he's got a full song in this one thank god because the guy who voices him has the voice more hyped <laughs> he has a full song in this and it's all about his just massive feelings for Anna and I'm like, little boys need this because we need men in little boys media that are yeah. actually emotional. Oh, yep. Yep. <laughs> that was my Disney tangent. <laughs> little cinnamon button. I love him. Yeah, with all my heart. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a big I, Disney freak, so like I think Disney's I'm a big fan of 
like I probably am gonna go see it in the theater. Oh, one hundred percent. I'm I'm gonna go on my own. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> my friends don't come in from call. Like maybe I'll try to see it on Thanksgiving break if it's still in theaters by then. Yeah. Um, Ooh, when my friends come in, but if they don't, oh yeah, not available. I'm gonna go see it by myself. I go to the movies all the time by myself. Like people think it's weird. I'm like, why? We're sitting in a dark theater eating food. Like, why is that weird? I'm like, I don't know. I've I don't know. I mean, myself, but I think I will yeah. when Frozen. If no one wants yeah. to go with me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Who knows? I might go see it. I but like there's just a few. I'm so bad at going to the movie theater. Like I just don't go that often anymore. So, but yeah. I will say I saw Frozen in theaters like three times because we went to the sing along once. <laughs> Oh so, God. you know, know with like the bouncing snowflake. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, when that came out, we went. So <laughs> I saw that. I was like, I was a, what, a fresh freshman in high school. That was a long ass time ago. It was like, I was in. Was in was in How old are you, Avery? Twenty one. Hmm. Where did it come out? I don't, I don't even know. What I was in like I was in like a kind of like a not like a relationship, like like an almost relationship, whatever, um, with a guy, and we went and saw it together with like his brother, and uh, his brother was he's still he's in high school now, but back then, funniest thing ever was um, I think we came home to we went like to their house when we were done because like we're old family friends, and their dad like asked them, oh, how was the movie, and. Like his little brother goes, dude, Elsa's so freaking hot. <laughs> and then like, and then his dad responds with saying, like, well, of course she is, son. Like her eyeball is bigger than the size of her waist. <laughs> Best oh my dad. God. Right there. So Love it. Was, it. it was November funny. of 2013. Yeah. And okay. I graduated in 2015. So grade 10. 2013. I was just finished with college, I think. I was 22. 22. I read, oh, I, uh, middle school. I, eighth grade to freshman year, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> long oh, ass time ago. This is how long it took to make another one. I don't know. Um, and I remember just being the most cozy because I was in like full sweatpants, just like I'm here for a Disney movie. All these kids can suck it, and like, <laughs> and, and having a dad behind me with his two kids, him doing a double take because I am six feet tall, and I'm just being like, "What?" And I'm like, I'm so you can suck it. <laughs> like, I'm oh just. And I was like, I love it. Now every time that do you want to build a snowman comes on because our freaking christmas music channel plays that i lose it because that song makes me so emotional i don't know why <laughs> i don't Aww. know why why was it for those songs so much though because i nanny twins one's a boy and one's a girl and the girl is freaking in love with frozen so like we mm. listen to her all the time so like to be honest with the frozen soundtrack i've become like kind of like desensitized <laughs> I listen to You're it like, immune. like basically every day. So yeah. I teach like I teach this and let it go is one of the ones that I've taught many, many, many times. Um, do you want to build a snowman? Not so much because it's a little bit trickier and kids don't necessarily know it right away. Yeah. Uh, but let it go is like, I'm, I know all the words <laughs> and I don't, well, <laughs> it's fine. It's good. Yeah. I, I, like I feel like. Oh, okay. I keep telling myself I'm not going to get Disney Plus. Like, I'm going to wait a few months, but I'll probably crack one within no. a week. <laughs> no, gonna, I like, bought Disney Plus oh. release day. I was sitting in my geology class 7.30 in the morning pulling out my credit card yes. on my laptop. <laughs> bought it. I love it. That's uh, hilarious. I was in one of my seminars last year, and I got so stressed in the middle of class. I pulled up Book Outlet, and I started going through Book Outlet because it was a few hours. <laughs> Stress that. buying. And just, she was just cracking up because I started buying the books. Like, I just did. I placed an order, and I was just like, fuck it. I can't. Like, I can't. And she just started laughing, oh and I was gosh. like, listen. I'm not That's paying hilarious. attention to buying books, okay? <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, Disney Plus for me, because I am a Disney freak, is yeah. worth it. Like, I, I love only Disney. ever really want to watch Disney. Like, I was kind of slowly 
starting to build up my own like collection through like it's expensive though. ITunes. It's co- expensive. I, only yeah. have, like, I had Alice in Wonderland and maybe like the little mermaid so far. I think I've got, yeah, I've only got like and three then, I've got. And then yeah. like I downloaded this dude. I watch so many things. I watch Hannah Montana, Sue Zach and Cody. Um, I watch Lemonade <laughs> Mouth. Okay, I Lemonade Mouth. Oh no. It's I've been watching Lemonade. Lemonade. I've been listening to Lemonade Mouth soundtrack for like two days now. Um and <laughs> literally <laughs> like an hour ago I finished the Aristocats. <laughs> Does it have Wizards of Waverly Place? That's yeah. my question. It has literally <gasps> everything. Like oh! everything. Like, so sorry like for all your heads. It's it's like you. so like even like the old Disney Channel original movies that like have I've, like, <gasps> it lost has my them? Brain. They're, like all oh there. Oh my like, gosh! That I was in love with. Oh, it's called the Third Tale or Thirteenth Year or whatever. Where like a the boy with the mermaid, thirteen year old boy turns into a mermaid. I'm like, oh, this was my shit. Dude. <laughs> 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 oh, I also I love Star Wars, so I'm like, I need it. Yes. I need it. I've also there's like watched, a new Star Wars show. Yeah, because I've been wanting to also watch all of the Marvel movies in order because like I haven't. Yeah. I've never done that yeah, before. Yeah, me neither. And so last night I started Captain America, the first one. And now I'm gonna I'm probably gonna watch Iron Man tonight. <laughs> it, there are a few movies still missing though from Disney Plus because yeah, I saw that. other streaming services. So yeah. as soon as they get off that, they yeah. Do yeah. you know which Plus. ones? I'm not sure, but I know that um right. I was watching the newest Avengers. I think I was watching Brit. Um, oh God, I can't. I can't pronounce her last name because she's she's a YouTuber, basically Brit, mm-hmm. and she oh, is yeah. like saying that she's gonna now watch all the Marvel movies in order uh, on Disney Plus, and she was like, "Wait, they're missing one." And I was like, "Oh no!" Uh, I think most of them are still. I think it's because they're on Netflix too. I yeah. saw. That's what yeah, people are saying. Yeah, you can always just hop over to Netflix if you yeah, have it. I have all the other streaming services too. So like, well, that's the thing. I'm like, maybe I need to give one up if I get Disney Plus. Sorry, you anyone who's Netflix. not wanting this tangent. But <laughs> that is anyways, Disney. Um, anyway, but I honestly Trick. feel like I need it. I I need it. Talk well, to me in 25 yeah. minutes after this, and I will download it. <laughs> well, we can do like. We can make a like a Disney Plus watch club. <laughs> oh my <Yay>! god. <laughs> I just yeah. I'm like the the one thing that I was trying to like convince myself is because it's not just Disney, mm-hmm. it's Marvel. And I love Star Wars. Marvel. Star Wars. And then Star Wars, which I've never watched. But like <gasps> genuinely. Genu- All right, we're going to have a watch party (laughs) where we force Jen to watch Star Wars. (laughs) There are over nine movies. That's a lot, okay? I know, I know. Just watch the old ones. um, (laughs) I was thinking about it today. I was like, now they need like a Barbie plus because I want to go back and watch all the Barbie. (laughs) Aren't they just on Netflix? No. (laughs) Like Barbie Rapunzel, Barbie Swan Lake, Barbie Puss in the Popper. Oh my gosh. Oh, I loved the Swan Lake one. I used to love that one. I had the, um, did you have the game where you could like, it was like a Barbie game, like a a disc and you put it in your computer and you could like make over the Barbie and like dress her up and like change her outfits. Like I was obsessed. Yeah, I had that one. I also had like a fashion show where you could like make them be in a fashion show. Oh, I don't have. I didn't have that one, but I had the other one. I was obsessed. So yeah, Barbie. I don't my, know. I don't remember really watching a lot of Barbie when I was younger, but I know I did because, like, back in the day of the DVD expresses and the blockbusters, <laughs> it would be my movie every like Friday night. We would go to the movie thing. Mom and Dad would pick a movie, and I would, and then I'd watch my movie yeah. in like <clears> that room kind of thing when I was like five. So <laughs> I miss blockbuster. Yeah. Like it was an end. experience. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. What? Why? Never returned anything. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Never returned anything. I bet we still own a blockbuster. I'm not joking. That's I bet so we funny. Still deep in the depths of our attic or something. <laughs> it's like when people find library books like three years later. It's like whoops. And then it makes you terrified to go back to a library because you're like, wait, my fines are going to be so high. They're going to arrest me. <laughs> like it's going to be fine. Yeah. Well, some libraries have gotten picky. Like my old county, you could, this is why people didn't pay fines. You could still um, check things out until your bill got up to like 40 bucks or something, which is a lot of library fines. But the county I'm in now, 
if you don't if you have a fine, you have to pay it before you can check out another book. That makes sense. So, that sounds fair. It, yeah, I mean, look, it's fair because you're gonna get your money. Otherwise, you're never gonna get your money. Um, but so I am always on time now. <laughs> I can't go to the library because I live outside my city, and because of that, in my RM or whatever, my municipality, we don't have a library in our municipality. So if I wanted a library card, I'd have to pay $150 every year to have a library card. No, that's sad. Oh my and it's God. because technically we don't pay taxes, so we don't like yeah. actually pay to use a library. And I'm like, that's bull crap. Library is supposed to be free. Yeah. So now no. I'm just like on like one of my friends who lives in the city. So it's fine. But <laughs> I like I miss that experience of going to the library and picking up books. This is yeah. also one of my reasons why I buy so many books. And I'm like, huh? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I I get that though because I feel like I kind of get my like browsing like somewhat under control if I can browse a books or like a library instead of a bookstore. Like um, don't get me wrong, I I still buy books, library. but I feel like I'd yeah. be able to like, stay on them more than a week. Yeah, <laughs> like, I've been I, doing better. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I there was a time I think I I actually haven't used my library until this year like I never really mm. used the library I don't know yeah. why I think it's just like my little social an anxiety ridden heart was like I'm not gonna go talk to people to get books I can go by myself and go to the store and not talk to anybody what to get a car you do. Not have an automatic scanning system no now we like I didn't know that though like when I was <laughs> Did, like you have to give yeah. somebody to scan it now when I walked like originally like this year when I walked in I was like oh, you can just <laughs> it's yeah. Yep. yep. It's it's I amazing. It, I found it I found out about my library this year though, because one of my family friends, she only listens to audiobooks. She's like my mom, she's like my second mom basically. And um she, and I was like, Where do you get all these audiobooks? Like, how do you afford this? She's like, yeah. oh, just make your library. I was like, that's it. That's how I found out about Libby. Libby is my life now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I go Although I will say my Libby kind of sucks because not a lot of the new releases are ever on there for audiobooks. Mm. And I'm like, wait, why? This is why I want to have yeah. more access to more libraries, but it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. If you can find one that uses um, Hoopla, it's amazing because my county actually doesn't i only have libby which is good but not like great because i think it depends on your county with how good your libby is right mm -hmm. um but my where i used to live i still am logged into my hoopla account and i am not logging out i'm like because i'm still like attached to it so i can still get their books and I'm like I need to get a new phone and I'm like oh gosh I'm gonna lose my Hoopla account because I'm gonna have to like oh, that's so sad. oh my god I that's know. like one of my favorite things is watching like some uh YouTubers in the states who've moved because they've had like their old library card and their new one so they have access <laughs> yeah. to libraries in two different yep. states and so yep, they have, that's what I have. I'm like, what call yep. you now. I'm gonna I've got that. my Florida one and I've got my Georgia one. <laughs> go on vacation. Go get a library card somebody else, somewhere else. You can do that in the States. You can't do that in Canada because we make you pay $100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, t I remember at one point, I think I had like, I had asked a librarian or something about like using it. And they're like, honestly, we're not going to really crack down on it. Like, we just want you to use the library. Like, mm -hmm. it's a library. <laughs> like, yeah. So, I don't, really, um, yeah. I don't really check. I haven't physically checked out a book in the library over like, maybe, like four months. I like, I only go into the library now when like I'm in the area to look at the free shelf and take a book and go. The, oh, wild. I guess wow. I've gotten so many of my books for free from the free shelf. It's ridiculous. I just got oh. Truth Witch. I got Ooh. yeah. Um, I've gotten some romance. They don't have a lot of romance books in the. They have a bunch of YA books. Um, mm. Yeah, a still bunch it's of, good though. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten a bunch yeah. of classics. I got two different versions of my favorite Jane Eyre. Oh, off of there. Yeah. Um, I just got yeah. Macbeth. Not Macbeth. I've read Macbeth. I just got Hamlet. <laughs> they also. Oh my gosh, I need to find it. But I found this, like, the collection, like a hardback, beautiful collection of all of Shakespeare's sonnets. And I was like, ooh, did someone give this up? Because they're people are crazy. Like, people oh. are crazy. 
oh. I think people like move and they're like, I don't want to carry this heavy book. Let's just donate it. I think about moving right now and I have seven bookshelves full of books <laughs> and that gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I will tell you when I moved last year. Oh, that's gorgeous. So it's pretty. On the free um, show. Oh, it's red. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, okay. when I moved, it was a bit of a... I, I, I had to, like, hire movers because I'm my, dad. have to, my dad's I have, like, I'm not moving all those again. <laughs> sure, I have a piano. Like, it's going to be a lot. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I, I don't think I've been going to my library since I was, like, eight. It's well, it's understandable with so where long. you live and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I only moved, like, four years ago. So, like, it's not... I used to live in the yeah. city for so long, but we just never went to the library because my mom has like a thing about bringing other like other things into the house that have been in other people's mm -hmm. houses. Um, so whenever we go to a thrift store, she has us put like we wash everything automatically right away. But if it's books, mm -hmm. we have to put it in the tub for twenty four hours and stand on it because there might be bugs between the pages to her. So it, library to her, I think libraries freak her out a little bit because of that because you yeah. never know into your house i know there are a lot of people who are like who have that same issue yeah. though because um and i'm not gonna lie like i love the library but <laughs> i think we've all been there where we've gotten a book and there's like a very interesting like sticky pages or like yeah. stains in them you're why? like what the heck is that like i don't even want to know i'm just gonna like gently turn the page <laughs> like yeah, I got yeah, I got one a few weeks ago, and like two of the pages were like physically stuck together, and I'm like, "What do people do when they read books that causes that?" Honestly, I'm eating a load what of candy. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. The only thing that ever happened to me like that was my sister. I left a book in the back seat freshman year of no, yeah, freshman year of high school because I'm really old for my grade, and so I could drive my freshman year, and so. She got she spilled coffee all over the city of Bones, Poppy. Oh, that's seat. a travesty. So my, travesty. I don't. I've never read the mortal like the series. I've only read the first book. I think maybe it's because she spilled it, and I was like, I'm not gonna read this. <laughs> but the whole <laughs> see from the top, like all of it's brown. So that's yeah. the only one that I personally like damaged myself. You know? Yeah. So, I remember. Um. I'm looking at my Harry Potter shelf now, and I remember loaning out one, my original Chamber of Secrets to my friend's little sister um, to read. And when I got it back, it had been stained with either hot chocolate or coffee. There was no apology. There was no explanation. Girl. That's gross. She just gave it back to me and said, hey, thanks for this. And I was like, ah. <laughs> like, it's That's illegible now. I can't read this now. Because the pages are all stuck together and Ew. it's hard. That's, That's gross. gross. What is she yeah. my my old old original copy of Deathly Hollows, and it has water damage. And I'm like, did I do that? I must have because back when I was younger, I you know when you throw all your crap in your oh, bathroom, yeah. the water bottle spills. Happened to me a lot. I bet you it was just that. But like, yeah. So I my Harry Potter books have been through a lot. <laughs> Which is understandable because yeah. I was 11 when I read them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, should, to I was saying, should we say real quick what our next, I mean, in case anyone wants to come back and watch this or anything, what our next book is? Should we oh. say what our next book is? It's, I don't have it with me, but it's Well Met by Jen Toluca. I'm so excited about this. It Thank is a, <laughs> It is a romance set in modern time, but at a Renaissance fair. I'm so excited. <laughs> I might have to start it like relatively soon because I'm like mm, I'm in a mood for like romance stuff. I also have um the book called Our Stop. I have that. Oh, I read that. I oh, read that. In that part of my room. <laughs> it's oh, invisible. Mm -hmm. Um but I want to read that one as well because I picked that up in the summer but I never got to it. Yeah. Oh, binge, but I'm so excited for this. Me too. I also okay. really want to go to a Renaissance fair. <laughs> I might be able to go with Thanksgiving break. Really? Yeah. If I'm That's not, really cool. Yeah. I think we'll um, report back. <laughs> yeah. We're also doing this for just so the wide internet knows. We we're doing this for both like November and December. We're just gonna put our live stream somewhere in December. Yeah. I guess. Probably like my guess would be like probably before Christmas, maybe. Yeah. Um 
or unless it would, have to be, it would either have to be before Christmas or in January because yeah. I'm out of town, like in the country, no signal, anything. Yeah. The 27th to the 1st. <laughs> yeah. And also, I'm going, I'm going home like the 21st. So it would just have to be before the 21st. So probably sometime yeah. before the 21st of December. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think that yeah. is probably the best because then we'll have a break over Christmas break and then we'll pick our book for January starting yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But I'm super excited good. Yeah. This. I also want it, 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 it. I'm leaning way over. Um your have any of you read any Christmassy romances before that you would recommend? I just put my Christmas romance rag video live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. I, know also here. I don't know if she's still here, but she really likes Yeah, Brie Brie has some really good Christmas romance rack. Um, she put a video up a couple weeks ago, was it? Last week? Yeah. Um, but I saw that you on your on the Twitter that you said you were gonna read the Christmas the Christmas Sisters by I love Sarah Morgan. Like she's a winner. Love I haven't actually read that one. Um, but I've read a, a bunch of other other stuff and they're really good. Yeah. i I don't know where I heard this. I think it was on one of my like Instagram people on their stories or whatever. They're like really recommended this. For a Christmas yeah. read, and then I was at the thrift store, and I also picked up this one. Mm-hmm. Please let me know how, what you think, because I'm yeah. Like stuff. Yeah, definitely let us know what you think. I read um Carla Nagers. Um, she writes also like um like mystery suspense romances, and I've cool. read one of those, so it was good. Probably from a like a, a series of ones because it says on the front a swift river valley novel and i'm like oh it's probably mm-hmm. part of the thing but it's fine i'll read it anyways oh yeah I'm most, most of the christmas books are in a series I, yeah I most romance books like you don't really need to read in true a, you know yeah. i, I also like, have yeah. one on my kindle that i bought because i was feeling frisky <laughs> <laughs> and okay um, are y'all participating in the Buzzwordathon? I might be. I haven't decided. I'm not sure because I'm really bad at reading songs. <laughs> oh, I saw it's someone so else. That's adorable. And apparently, oh, it's got a fake dating trope. So I'm so here for it because that's one of my <laughs> favorite songs of all time. If so, it's good, you got to tell me, and I'm gonna get it. If you think it's like I'm getting it, yeah. if you think it's good, I think it's that cover. Like, like, the synopsis is basically that like, she's a super huge. Christmas nut, and he's absolutely not. So it's like that kind of trope too. Oh, I love that. Baby, so I'm excited for this. What's it called? Faking Under the Mistletoe by Ashley Shepard. I'm looking at it. <laughs> and I also really want to read um, Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. And there's one that's called like One Day in December or something. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend of mine just read the Jasmine Guillory one and she really liked it but she's read the rest of the series yeah. so I'm not sure I'm and sure I you can read it as a standalone that yeah. one's really interesting to me because it's about like a an, an older couple you know yeah like they're, they're like older like our parents ages I believe yeah she's yeah. got a daughter because I feel I like there's know. not I, enough I was on a Christmas book kick <laughs> and I, I downloaded yeah. um some on to like from the audible escape package i, I literally typed in like christmas romance <laughs> and i was I like do that. and yeah. like a lot of things like scribbed and goodreads like you can't just type in christmas because it will only bring yeah. up titles with christmas in it yep which is fine but like also not because it's not what you want <laughs> right, exactly oh the one that you're reading um or that you just showed is on um kindle unlimited Ooh. which one the uh, faking faking under the mistletoe Ooh. I have Kindle Limited. I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was, My, uh, it was oh god, they're not gonna let me do the big screen of it, but it's on Scribd. It's called One Day in December. Oh, I, mm-hmm. I have read that it's one. one of those like over many, many years type of romance. So those are hit or miss for me, I feel yeah. like. So I'm curious to see what you think because yeah. we'll find out if I actually read them. Because I I did this last year. I had um this book. Christmas, Christmas, the little clock house on the green. <laughs> it's just, it's a long, long title. Um, and I got like 
not very far into it. And I just like stopped reading it. <laughs> so we'll find out. Now I just have a million books that I want to read over Christmas. Yeah. I always make a really big like holiday TBR and get to approximately two to three of them. <laughs> I've never but... read out like a holiday book. <laughs> Don't think. Um, really? Yeah. I've never, never read really, I've never really been like a seasonal reader where, oh, I read spooky, bo spooky books during October. I read Christmas books during Christmas. You know, I've never done that before. Um, yeah, Christmas I'm just in the yeah. mood for it this year. I think because I just got into a kick and I just started, you know. Oh, grabbing yeah. I have a book outlet order coming in too sometime this week that has like three Ooh. Christmas books in it too. So like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really like, excited. I bought my first Bay Crate. If you know what Bay Crate is, oh yeah, romance subscription. Mm -hmm. I bought it. I'm waiting for it to come in because I heard that November's box is. Uh, the Bromance Book Club, and I want to read that cool. so badly. <laughs> yeah, that book looks adorable. I'm, I'm not I'm waiting on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not usually like the biggest subscription fan. Like I've, I've had them in the past, but I will say Bay Crate to me looks like the one that I would go with if I was going to like subscribe to something. This is, I, I um, used to be book outlet. I used to have book outlet for, like in high school, um, but I was like, I can't spend this money, but. I've done the one-time purchase for November because of the Bromance Book Club, and it comes with like a tote that matches it or something in the box. Oh, I like that you can do a one-time one too. That's kind of nice too. Yeah, um, I just, like Book Outlet is just a store, an online store. It's not a subscription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done Book Outlet, but like you mean you mean like the Owl Crate, Avery? Is that what oh, you mean? Owl Crate. Duh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, good. Just, Whatever. <laughs> I really want to try like okay. subscription boxes, especially some of the Harry Potter ones that are around. But because yeah. I live in Canada, the shipping is the price of the box. Oh. So you're paying double. That's and that sad. makes me so sad. I'm like, why? I'm not paying $80 to get this to my house for a book and a bunch of bookish trickets. Thank you. It makes me so sad. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's so sad, though, because I feel like that means they're not going to get any customers from Canada. Like, who's going to pay that? Like, That's even insane. Canadian bookish boxes, they're expensive to ship because it's Canada and our shipping is ridiculous. It's so weird. I hate it. <laughs> I hate odd. it. Very odd. I bought, you know what I did get, though? I don't know if you guys have seen it, but they have, there's a girl on Instagram. I can't remember it, but she makes, like, the book planners. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? I think her, like, her name is, like, Little Ink Designs or something. Um, when I get it, I will show you, but I ordered like a, basically it's like a planner, like a regular planner, but for all bookish stuff. So it has like, and it's all illustrated for each month. A um, already made up for you. Yeah. Basically it's like a book journal that's like made for you. Amazing. Um, making, I started making my 2021. <laughs> I bought one because it was like 30, 30 bucks, I think. And I'm like, well, that's a little high, but it was really pretty. And I used to do a bullet journal, but I just fallen off of it. And um, it was gorgeous. So I'll let you know if I get it. You're supposed to be getting it soon. Oh, that's, see, they have got things like that. It's just, I'm not that talented. So <laughs> like the, I started making it in 2020. Oh, this is what I'm most proud of. I'm doing, I haven't filled it in, but this is going to be my Goodreads challenge. And it's a flower. And then I'll fill it in. At I like flower. it. And then when I'm done, I'll have a beautiful flower. <laughs> I love it. 10 out of 10. That's all I have. <laughs> I love it. So cute. All right. Hey, let's get back to trick for a second. <laughs> what other topics you want to discuss before we go? <laughs> I mean, I was going to ask way back how you guys felt about the inclusion of the politics and the classist views of this kingdom like how you felt about it in the romance book because i know with our first read we were really irritated that it felt like there was two different books happening like the lawyery stuff and then the romancey stuff just didn't feel like they went together um how did you guys feel about that in this <laughs> i'm trying to like i'm not really big on politics to be honest with you i don't like political heavy books that's why to be honest, like, I really want to get back into Red, White, and Royal Blue, but that, like, politics, like, really, I'm not a yeah. politics person. It's not I, politics heavy. I know, but, like, it talks, like, I know it's a politics heavy, but, like, there's more <laughs> politics in it than, say, like, just trick, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, uh, there's going to be politics because they're literally the leader's son. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, like, inevitable. Like, 
there there's a like uh <laughs> i know you love red white and royal blue but like i've just never i don't i don't know <laughs> okay um, um so okay first of all it makes you feel better avery i i did get that book from the library and i may have not read it before it went back so i know jed i'm sorry but i feel like i'm gonna pick it up i swear but anyways i'll make you feel a little bit better <laughs> um so i i know and i know it's good i just wasn't in the mood and I tried, I got like 20 pages in and I'm like, I, I want to give this book a better chance. Yeah. Um, but so I, I liked the politics in this, but like we said before, I felt like it, if they were going to add it in, they almost needed to make it a bigger book. Like mm -hmm. it was almost like they put like a teaspoon of it in and they need to like, they need to put a cup in, like they need to put the whole <laughs> thing in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, maybe, I don't know. And I I mean, by, the, by the part where they had like the actual like, the biggest, I think the climax of the book was essentially Briar being able to sit in on the talks when she wasn't supposed to before, but that like wasn't actually mentioned until about halfway through the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the thing this was missing for me, I don't know. It didn't. There was no like well enough, plot per se. And I think I said that before, even when I talked about it in my, like on my channel was, I really liked the characters. It was a very character driven book and it was more about like the characters do tr like trials and tribulations. Yeah. Yeah. To me, there really wasn't like an end point for the plot that I was super invested in. Um, so, like, oh God, I want to protect this boy with my soul. Something's bad. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah, no. yeah, that's true. But see, like, I don't, the politics, like you said, didn't really have like a climax. Like that part wasn't yeah. like a woohoo. I don't know. I felt like but it needed. Then more. again, um, I am so happy that it brought in what it did. That's it, true. Not the classes stuff. I think I could have done without the classes stuff, even though yeah. it kind of needed to bring in it because it, it bring it in because it's a jester and a princess, an mm -hmm. heir to a throne. Like, that's literally never going to happen, ever. So that was a little bit much for me. Um, mm -hmm. But I found it interesting that, like, the friendship between Briar and Elliot, which was also fake to me, <laughs> but that's a whole other discussion. Um, that brought in, like, the class differences. But then the... Again, I didn't really feel like it needed a place in there. Like, they didn't really touch on it enough. Yeah. But the disability stuff did and it was but it was only a plot device because it was just used to get Trick to go with Briar home. That's the only way that's the only reason it was used. Because otherwise he would have had to stay at the Spring Court, right? Because he was yeah. owned by that king and queen. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. Device. That's all yeah. about it. I don't think I like I, I totally get what you're saying. I don't think I when I read it was like thinking that, but now that you're like saying it, I was like how is Trick? Uh, how is Poet going to be able to to go with Briar? Other, if yeah. this was a fling, but it yeah. didn't feel that way because they were so invested. Right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely. I don't know. Like, I feel like it would have been a boring. Like, it wouldn't have. It would have been weird without any of the politics, yeah. but especially because of the Niku stuff and all that jazz yeah. too. But. Um, and I thought that was like kind of the like he was definitely the heart of the book and stuff, and that was the stuff that was like the emotional stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Like I almost, I almost feel like they needed more of it, even yeah. though like I don't it know. Be more substance. Yeah. In the book. yeah. So I also there was another element that I forgot to mention before that I really liked, and it was how trick. Or not trick. Why do I keep calling him trick? I did the oh. same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Poet never forced Briar into anything. Mm -hmm. He was only there until she was ready to have him, basically. Mm -hmm. And I think that was really sweet. Like, he was just doting on her after being this complete asshole, promiscuous <laughs> man-eater man. Like, he just... He, he was so sweet to her, and he just... He was also like just so good in those like sex scenes. The sex scenes were just <laughs> so. Good. I mean, there was only one legit sex. Yeah, scene, yeah. The rest I will of it. Say, I had a little bit of a problem with the sex scene and the writing towards mm. the beginning because, like, 
the writing made me think that they'd already done it, you know? Yeah. That one, was that in Poet's Head? I don't, I don't. After they made it in the shed? I don't remember what it was, but like maybe it was like, he, they, I think they were in his room and then like, <laughs> oh, they woke up in the morning and I was like, wait, so did something happen? Like, but it was so weird. The way that like scene was framed is that he drags her away from the house. He's like, you stay out here after he like, she like comforted Niku after he fell. And then he brought Niku inside, put him to bed, came back out, dragged her to the, like the shed or whatever, yeah. starts making out with her. And she's at, like, absolutely not. Do not. No. But then, like, <laughs> it switches to the jester's point of view. And then, like, he was like, I will remember this day until the end of time. For the rest of those, like, for the rest of those weeks, we woke up and her breasts were on me all the time. And I was like, what? And then the next part is back in the shed when Briar's like, absolutely not. No, don't touch me. And then, like, for the rest of it, she wouldn't let him see her naked. So I don't know. If that really happened, or if that was maybe, just maybe, maybe, okay, maybe that was like the, like you know how like at the beginning the jesters like, yeah. like saying yeah. like I'm telling you the story of our lives like Briar or whatever maybe that was like him like present day saying like I will yeah, remember that's what I will that, this yeah. through all of this that has happened. I don't. That's know. what I thought it was, but I can see why that's really freaking confusing. And also, I don't even remember half of this because I read it like three weeks ago. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? Um, I don't know that part <laughs> because I had to like think about it for a few minutes, and I was like, "Yeah, wait, like this is framed as though and written as though that they had like a sex holiday for the rest of the time they were at Poet's Cat like cabin." And I'm like, "Nicku's in the other room. God, control yourself." Yeah. I don't, I don't think I thought that, but like I could see why you would think it from that. Ugh, I don't know why. I, like there's a few parts of this book that I just got really confused, and I think it was because of the writing. The writing needed yeah. to be published. And I do think this was the author's first book as well. I'm pretty oh. sure. Um, like I'm like ninety yeah. percent sure. So I mean, that's the other thing. Like with the rest of the series, I am interested to see if anything changed um, yeah. as far as that goes. So because. I don't know. I'd only really be interested in reading the Q's book, though. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else you, read it. You could probably just skip to that one. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if they have one for Elliot, though, because Elliot seems like such a romantic guy. I don't think they do, because I read the synopsis for the for them, mm. and I don't think it was his. Oh, that sucks. Because like he would be yeah. perfect as like a character in back to Spring Court. Yeah, yeah and kind of flesh it's out a little bit. Big romance that he needs. <laughs> and Elliot Help pissed me. I hated him. Off. I hated him. Oh, yeah. He was oh, the yeah. worst. He just I, made bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. I'm like, dude, God, this book. But okay, yeah. my my computer is at ten percent. <laughs> okay, I just want to clarify. Book Diva came back in after doing dishes. You okay, missed Tasha. a massive random rant where we left Trick and like went to Disney, went up here, went to Library, <laughs> and then like we're like, oh yeah, we should probably talk about Trick again. And came back. <laughs> like it was great, but yes, we're talking about Trick still. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to see the whole rant, just go watch in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, up on Avery's channel. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah. but yeah. So I'm excited for the next book, though. I yes. think that well, one will be really, so really promising. good. And it's I feel good. Also, like, it should go fast. Like, oh, yeah. Lost over 300 pages. So. I think I'll read it pretty fast. Yeah. I think it'll be great. I get off of school on the 12th of December. Amazing. Dude, that day, I'm probably going to, like, probably binge this book. Have a great time. Stop thinking about finals. <laughs> Amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm an adult, so I have to work until December 24th yeah. so yeah I work till the 21st and then we're out of us because I work no. for a public school so you know if my office is closed over Christmas because 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 Christmas lands on like a Wednesday and yeah. then New lands on a Wednesday right after mm-hmm. it's this kind of like yeah we probably will have to work the Monday Tuesday and then the Monday Tuesday kind of thing yeah which sucks but like whatever <sighs> Yeah, it's one of the only benefits of working in public school as I get a couple weeks off. Know, <laughs> it all depends on what the family I'm nannying for does. 
That's true. Yeah. Well, um, I guess we'll let any, anyone know who wants to know like when the live show is, but probably sometime between December 12th and December 21st. Yeah. <laughs> so somewhere in there. Somewhere well, that, I was actually fun. thinking also, y'all, about creating a solely lovely lady's Twitter account. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I was actually in the process of doing that, and then my laptop died, and I never remembered to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, we could do, like, updates, too. Like, not yeah. spoilery, but, like, thoughts yeah. as we read it. That might be kind of fun, too. That would be really fun, yeah. 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 So, yeah. I guess let us know if you're really interested in that. Um, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, it'll still be fun for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, I hope y'all join us to read Well Met because that one also seems like a really popular one that I bet a bunch of people would be on board for. I feel like a lot more people probably have read that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Already. I'm honestly going to like, start stalking people. And if anyone posts about it, I'll be like, come talk with us on this day. <laughs> I want people in the comments talking about these books. Yes. I, that, that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need to, yeah. Also, we'll talk about it later, but like, I think. Um, we should also like over break or whatever, like talk about, look at the romance releases that are planning on happening. Mm-hmm. We are 100% doing Waiting for Tom Hanks 2 when yes. it comes out. <laughs> I yeah. out. Okay, have y'all read the Fix Her Up, both of you? Fix Her Up yet? I have. No, been. but I'm going to. But I want to read the I think one. the second one is going to be way better. So I'm like, we like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That looks really yeah. good too. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, we could pick some that are coming out. So stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Bye, well, everybody. We'll see you later. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. Bye. <laughs>